there's labor trouble. And I said, Lord, what do you mean there's labor trouble? He said, well, I said in my word that the harvest is plentiful. But the laborers are few. Saints of God, I submit to you that when I look upon the TVs and, and all of the services, I see a multitude of people. But yet God is saying that the laborers are few. So it suggests to me that there are a lot of people who are not doing what God has called them to do. A lot of us have got so set in our own salvation that we're sitting in pews, holding up spaces, and not doing what God has called us to do. Mm. And I, 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 I question God. I say, God, I, it can't be so. He said, well, well, there's a lot of good people. There's a lot of nice people. There's a lot of people who, who, who have potential service. Hear me. Potential service. And he said there's a lot of people who had potential service. And then God said, you remember when you bought that, that, that big screen TV you have? It says 1080 DPL. It had the capacity to get 100, 1080. You see, but I found out something. I hooked it up. I hooked it up and the picture was a real good picture. It was a real pretty picture. But you know what? The cable man came up one day and he says, well, Ron, you, you, you know, you could get a much better picture yes, if you would take these cables yes, off and that you would hook one of those HDMI cables up to it. He said, this would not really put all the resolution that your camera is able to do through unless you use this cable. Saints of God, we need to understand something. You see, we have the capability to be great servants of God, but some of us are using the wrong connection. Some, some of us are so hung up in ourselves that we and, and doing things that we're not supposed to be doing. So we, we can't really be the service of God that God wants us to be. And when I hooked up that cable, I looked at my TV. And I'm not really a great big TV watcher. Oh, but it looks so much better. I, I, I did it during the baseball World Series when the Yankees won. And, and Derek Jeter came up to the plate, and I looked at his button, and I saw the X that was sitting in his button, and I said, God, what are you talking about? <laughs> Some of us need to realize that we need to get connected with God. We need a good connection. We, 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 we're just living off of just a scripture or two. But how many of you know when you allow the Holy Spirit to get in your life and to give you a great connection that you can do what God has called you can do? We say all the thing, all the time, all things are possible. But it ain't possible when you ain't connected. You, you, can't, you can't get 1080 with, not, with, with, with a 720 cable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say to God, if you would, let's, let's go to our text. Let's, let's look at these, these guys. Let's look at these guys. And I really want to just focus on one. And, and I want to focus on the third one. Let's focus on the third one. But as I began to, 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 to look at this, God shared with me something. And he, he told me, first of all, that in order for us to serve him, I, you Lord, let me serve. In order for us to serve him, first of all, we need to be productive servants. Somebody say productive. Hey, Amen. Some productive servants. Uh, mm. I God took me through the Bible and I began to look. And then I, I, he took me to where. You remember when Jesus went up to the fig tree? And my question to you, saints of God, today. What good is a fruit tree that does not produce fruit? All right. What good is an orange tree or a fig tree or any other kind of fruit tree if it does not grow fruits? Uh, let me help somebody. You see, if we look like church folk, we got good looking suits on. We dwell at the finest hats that money can buy. But are we really productive? We're showing up. We're taking up space. But are we productive? Daniel talked about yesterday, unity. 
we look good. But we're fighting each other in our finest of clothes. We're browbeating each other. Talking about each other. Now this is the church I'm talking about. Now you see, if I was out in the world, it would be, I could expect some of this. But even they have enough sense to wear some, hmm, some, 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 some fighting clothes every once in a while. I went out into the neighborhood one day and a young man, I saw a young man, he had a pair of gloves on. He, he put, he took out his pocket a pair of gloves. Uh, ignorant as I was, I wondered, why did you pull out, what are these gloves for? He said, he said, preacher, these, these are the gloves that I use to fight with. And, 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 and it just overwhelmed me. But see, saints of God, we, we look the road. We look the road. But are we productive? I need to share something with you. God is going to judge us by what we do. As well as what we don't do. Did you hear me? God is going to judge us for what we do. And what we don't do. Well. I'm going to prove that to you here in a minute. See I, I, I had the pleasure of being under the leadership of Elvin McGee. Elder Daniels. And they both all believe that if you're going to sell me something, give me some word to bag it up. So you keep that thought in, in your mind, and I'm going to prove it to you in a minute. But the first thing I want to share with you is this. Is this, is this, is this. We're doing, again, we, 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 look, we look the role. We look the role, and we play the role, and we say the right things, but, 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 but. God took me to a verse, and I don't know why he took me there, but he took me to Ecclesiastes 12, 13, and 14. And I'm going to try to surmise this as much as, as close to it as I possibly can. But it talks about the conclusion of the whole matter. He says the conclusion of the whole matter is to fear God. And keep his commandments. And then he says, for that is the whole duty of man. Did you hear me? Being every work into judgment, every secret thing, whether it be good or whether evil. Did you hear me? He's going to be judged by everything you do, whether it be good or evil. Hmm. Let's move on. I got a train behind me. I hear, I hear, I, I hear the engine. I hear the engine. Saints of God, as we begin, before I go to this next text, and that's this next thing, I want you to know that God gives us dreams. He gives us visions. He, he gives us he, he gives us goals. And, and saints of God, how many of you know that we have to use those things? Joseph showed us that it's good to have a dream. But you've got to follow out the plans of the dream in order for the dream to manifest itself. A lot of us have dreams, but we put